So guess who was stupid enough to order 300 stick insect eggs while they were under the influence? Yep, that's me. You're looking at him right now. So let's go build the enclosure and get ready to set them up. So this is the enclosure that I've chose to use for them. I may have to get another one and separate the two different species, but we've got a 60 litre tub, a deep tub so I can stick some tall um, privet in there. We're going to stick a load of holes in the side of it as well. The way we're doing this is we've got two drawing pins. We're going to heat them up and basically melt it through the plastic tub. Simply because these are small, small enough so that the baby stick insects can't get out of it. And just like that, that's how we do it. We started off thinking we're only going to need about 50. And we've kept on going and kept on going and kept on going. 2,000 years later... And we're finally done, or done as much as I could possibly do tonight. Basically, we ran out of lighter fluid in the lighter. Um, but we've got a load of holes in there. That should be enough ventilation. If it's not, we can always go and add more into it. Uh, but that'll do for now. Now the tub's all sorted, let's go and fill it. So the guys, what we've got to do first is the substrate. This is what we're using, the Northern Exotic substrate. It's not yet available, but that's what we're using. Let's get the bags in. Gotta level all the substrate out. It's just our normal tropical substrate, loads of leaf litter, leaf mulch, all that sort of stuff. We just gotta go into all the corners and just level it all out. We've got Kieran here helping. Just give it a spray down as well, just to keep it nice and humid. Next job, we've put the cleanup crew in. It's just a bit of white rotten wood for the cleanup crew to um, eat away at. So I'll just crumble a bit of that in and drop the whole stick in there just like that then we're going to stick some um oat sticks in just for a bit of climbing space a bit of surface area just like that nothing special next we're going to set up the egg hatching breeding area thing that done let's whack the lid back on there plenty of ventilation in this tub and that is now ready for some stick insect nymphs to go in as and when they hatch. To be able to hatch the eggs, we've got standard live food tub and some kitchen roll. Lay the kitchen roll into the bottom just like that. Wet it down a little bit, a little bit more. Just a couple of sprays is all you need. And then we add the eggs into that. Now the eggs that came today were just the 100 Indian stick insects, I assume that's what they are. Let's have a look and see how they, get, how they come. There you go, inside what looks like a milk lid. Let's get it open and have a look. Just grab something sharp, I've got a pencil. Try and peel away some of the sticky tape around it. Gotta be careful because it does just look like a milk lid. And there's a hundred eggs inside this milk lid. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Measure this out, nothing inside there. And there's the eggs. December and January these were ha uh, laid, so they've still got possibly another month or so left before they start hatching. But these just go straight into this moist tub. See if they're all out. Oh, one left in there. And that is that we just leave them in there with the lid on keep it nice and moist somewhere fairly warm but slightly warmer than room temperature and as they start hatching we'll move them into this tub we'll add some privet in there and some brambles for them to eat and that is the indian stick insects and 
the hatchery that we've got. So what we'll do, we'll keep you all updated on how many hatch, when they hatch, and all that sort of progress. We are going to be adding some privet into this uh, enclosure for something for the, the nymphs to eat as and when they do hatch. But we are expecting 100 uh, Indian stick insects off this batch. We do have 200 um, Black Beauty stick insect nymphs soon to be arriving that will be coming into here as well. If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in.